My mindset pulling up into the stadium was really just get the job done. Um, Coach Brown made it clear on what we was going in there to do. Coach Kasula made it clear, so we was just handling business. It was just a business trip. We came there to win. We didn't come there to compete. We didn't come there to do anything. We weren't satisfied with anything but a win. Getting on the scoreboard first was fun, man. Uh, my dog Ant sent. He, he got it off right with the little jet sweep. Um, we've, been, we've been talking that, about that play for a little minute now, so it was good to see us go out there and just execute it. But uh, just getting that first touchdown of the season, man, it was exciting. It was fun, and I think it just gave us a, a little glimpse of what this offense could be. I feel like this us coming in against some points earlier really got us a, a big momentum push, a lot of confidence, and we was ready, we was ready to take off. Once they got a touchdown, like I was, the first thing I said, I was I was trying to talk to the guys. I'm like, it's, it's our turn. Like it's, it's our turn to go ahead and go back up. Like we we, we wasn't expecting no no blowout or whatever. It's, it's, we know it's gonna be a football game. And just talking to some of the dudes on the sideline, we were saying that we ain't want it no other way. Pumachon keeps it a dart over the middle, completes it to George Johnson. Third and two for UMass. They hand it off. Lynch Adams with the stutter step breaks through that hole. They said he's hard to bring down and he shows you why. Snap is clean, kick is up, and it's good. So UMass retakes the lead off the field goal by Carson. Looking to throw and he's dropped. A huge sack by Billy Wood. On that play, I had a specific stunt I was supposed to do, but I, um, I seen the, the slide go away, and I kind of just backed door and just took a shot, and it ended up in the, in the backfield. Good snap. Kick is up. And he got it. The message the second half was really just, just keep doing what we're doing, eliminating bad football, just doing what we're supposed to do. Last season, we struggled in the third quarter. So just mainly just us coming out and pitching a third quarter shutout. He was just making sure that we finished every play. We ran to the ball and did all those little things because uh, you know how it is first game. Little stuff can happen. Um, but yeah, he just made sure that we were on all the little stuff, uh, running to the ball, finishing our tackles uh, when the ball came our way to make plays on the ball. So. The 
This is a third and four. Pumachai looking to throw. Put some air underneath, and he's got his receiver, Simpson. Here comes the pressure. Picked up nicely. Pumachai with time. Completes it to the outside. That's Gino Campiotti. Low kick and bangs it through. Pavia looking to set up the screen. He does to his running back, Thomas. Spins away from one tackle, breaks free from another, and crosses inside the 40. It's up to watch third and three. Pavia is brought down. What a tackle by Tyler Martin. Ethan Albertson is on to attempt a 34-yard field goal. He's already good from 36 tonight. And he missed it wide left. Heading into the fourth quarter, Coach, your team leading 13 to 10. Offense is about to have a chance. What do you need to see from that side of the ball to finish this one off? Uh, just finish. Finish the drive. Finish it into the end zone. You know, we, we've done a good job moving it, but, you know, we've had to settle for field goals. We need to finish a drive. Tyson Pumachon with time. Unloads over the middle. What a throw. And there's Christian Wells bouncing off defenders to the outside. One man to beat. And he's thrown out of bounds. Christian Wells making something happen. On first and ten, rolling out. Pumachon leaps into the end zone. Touchdown, UMass. And they just finished the drive. Smith. Um, you're going quickly. He's looking for a deep shot. Touchdown! Trent Hudson just go up and get it. A 42-yard bomb. And New Mexico State not done yet. Second and ten. They fake the handoff. Throw over the middle. Anthony sits in and just does get caught as he passes midfield. Mexico State, they stayed home on Mark Pope. And how about UMass? Offense stays on the field on fourth and seven. It's kind of in that gray area where you don't want to kick a field goal, so I think this is a good call by Don Brown. Fourth and seven. Pumachon evades the rush, steps up the middle, and it opens up. Pumachon cuts back to the middle, slides down. That boy is a problem. He called a play that we've been running since fall camp, uh, and I'm dropping back. Uh, I go through my first read. It wasn't there. They kind of dropped. Everybody dropped off, and uh, I knew they had a QB spy on me, and I knew if I make one miss, it was number grass. So made one miss, and I, I just ran and just did what I do. First and goal from the 10. Handoff is to Lynch Adams. Can he get there? Yes, he does. Touchdown. A 10-yard touchdown run for Karon Lynch Adams. What a response by the Minutemen. Like everything kind of presented itself. I kind of knew exactly where I was going once I kind of got it just off of my pre-snap uh, read and seeing how things was flowing. So I kind of knew once I got it, um, I really was just, it was just a race to the sideline. Once I pressed the gap, I was just knowing I was going, I was just going to win. I had to beat the guys to the outside. So that was just kind of how that was. Pavia looking to the right side, across the field, and he's picked off. Intercepted. Still on his feet. Isaiah Rutherford, a pick six. We needed to make a play. My name was called. Um, able to make a play, threw the ball towards me. Uh, was able to cut him off, get the pick, and uh, finish the play, make some points for us to, to seal the win. So it was dope. Jumps on top of it. It's Billy Wooden with the fumble recovery. And the Minutemen have secured the win here in Las Cruces. So with the clock expired, the game is officially over. Our final here in Las Cruces. UMass with a 41-30 win over New Mexico State. Don Brown. He's got these Minutemen looking good in year two. It felt great, man. It felt great. Like I told the media after the game, man, it was nothing but... 
God just just out there leading us, man. We just just letting His light shine through us. So it was great. Um, I know how much that meant to this program and uh, how close they were last year to to finishing off that team and for this year to uh, finally get over that hump. With 11 to 12 more games left, I see a lot of potential with us, and we're just that much closer to being where we need to be. So it feels good. Start wanting to know. I mean, it's a feeling that I'm. It's like it's unusual to me, but I, I feel amazing. I mean, the guys feel good. I'm, I love this feeling. I know all the guys love this feeling, so we got to keep being one to know each week. That's it's something we're going to keep doing, keep climbing and doing. Oh, it was awesome. You know, it was great uh, for our kids, great for our coaches, great for our alumni, great for our university. Um, but like anything else, it's on to the next one and get ready to go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we had three takeaways. Oh, yeah. Yeah.